Yo, what's good, everybody? Man, it's your boy Kobe in the mid. Jeez. Now, I know you guys are just wondering why I was quiet, man. I did a 24 second moment of silence, man. Um, guys, we lost somebody. We lost one of the greatest, bro. One of the greatest of all time. Mr. Kobe Bryant, bro. I know this shit was about a year ago, y'all, but... Bro, the impact that he had on this game, man, like... Me being a basketball... Like, me being a hooper, bro. And me, you know, growing up watching this man right here, Kobe Bryant, bro. Like, that shit definitely is different, bro. Like... It's still crazy to even think that he's gone, you know? Um, you know, him, his daughter, and the uh, seven, I think it was the seven, well, it was nine people in total, right? I think it was like nine or ten, right? I think it was like nine total people on that plane, man. It shouldn't have happened, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't have been on that plane. It shouldn't have been on that plane, man. Or the helicopter. It shouldn't have been on the helicopter, bro. It was fucked up. What happened? It was a tragic thing, man. Out of all people, y'all, like, I know all these people passed, man, but, like, I would have never thought Kobe would ever have passed away, bro. And it was crazy, too, bro, because once LeBron passed, I forgot what accolade that was, bro. I think LeBron passed him in all-time scoring. I think that's what it was. When LeBron passed Kobe in all-time scoring, bro, like, that next day, bro, Taking the trip, he was taking the trip, bro. Him and his daughter and the seven other people, cause she had a couple of teammates that was on the um helicopter, bro. <sighs> I think they was in Calabasas somewhere, bro. But they was going to one of the practices. Uh, his he was going to his daughter's practice, man. You know what I'm saying? And that shit tragically happened. Crazy. Um. Yeah, man. <sighs> I remember it just like it was yesterday, y'all. Uh, but this video right here, man, called Once Upon a Time. Kobe Bryant, man. Once Upon a Time, Kobe Bryant. For any videos you guys want me to react to, all you guys have to do is comment down below. Or you can hit me at my Twitter or Instagram at Kobe in the mix. Most importantly, make sure you guys hit that post notification bell if you guys would like to keep up with the latest content. And also make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Once upon a time, there was a young basketball player who had dreams of becoming one of the greatest basketball players of all time. I, I don't understand people named the number one player in the nation, but I have to move on and uh, try to improve my game. Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School. People say that you have the opportunity to go to the NBA and play against the greatest players in the world. That doesn't get you going out. Yeah, Kobe, my guy, man, like, you know, you got, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all right now, straight up, man. And you guys can think I'm on some, you know, Dick Ryan shit or whatever, bro. Like, for you LeBron fans out there, bro, can we can we just please... Like, I'm talking to you guys. Like, dead ass, look at me in the camera, bro. Like, not even because he passed away type shit, bro. Because I've been saying this shit for the longest. Okay, you got Michael Jordan, right? You got Kobe. And you got LeBron. Now, I'm going to get ready to play this whole video, but just hear me y'all really quick, y'all. So... You telling me, just, just just hear me out. So, when you rank these three players, okay? Of course, you got Michael Jordan. That's the go, right? Then you got Kobe Bryant, right? I know you guys are probably fuming right now. You guys know where I'm going with this. Michael Jordan, one. Kobe Bryant, two. LeBron, three. All the, the, the difference between these three players right here, man, they was all good in their fucking generation. All fucking good. There'll never be another player like Michael Jordan. There'll never be another player like Kobe. There'll never be another player like LeBron. But 
the crazy thing is people try to knock Kobe so much, bro, because he copied Michael Jordan's game. Bro, Kobe Bryant studied Michael Jordan's game. He knew what it took to do that shit, bro. Like, that shit's not easy, bro. Like, people try to down talk Kobe because he copied Jordan's game. Bro, you can't name one person in the fucking league that played exactly like Jordan besides Kobe Bryant, bro. Like, people try to knock him down and say, oh, he copied Jordan's game. That shit's not easy to do, bro. Like, he was just... Bro, he was huge with his basketball shit, bro. He never gave up on himself, and he studied one of the greatest... Not one of the greatest... but The greatest basketball player of all time, bro. He studied. He studied his game, and he went into the gym every single fucking day. First one near, last one to fucking leave, bro. And that came from the words of Kobe Bryant, bro. That came from the motherfucking words of Kobe Bryant. Now, me personally, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all, man. I wasn't really a huge Kobe fan. But, you know, like, when he passed away, bro, like, that shit was just crazy to me. And he, having his daughter on that plane, and I'm going to keep saying this, and the seven other people that was on that plane, man, like, that shit is crazy. They shouldn't have happened. It's crazy. But getting back to this LeBron, Michael Jordan, and Kobe shit, bro, like, people try to say, okay, it goes Jordan, then LeBron, and then Kobe. They say LeBron has passed Kobe. And I know you guys are LeBron fans, bro, but can we please be realistic, man, like, is LeBron better than Kobe, y'all? Like, are we are we getting are we being fucking serious right now, bro? I had so many arguments and disagreements with people, cause they always used to say that LeBron was better than fucking Kobe. It goes Jordan, LeBron, and then Kobe. And when these people be having these discussions and shit, bro, they be leaving Kobe's name out of it. You know what I'm saying? Him here or him not here? Meaning like, even when he was here before he passed, like, they was disrespecting his name. When he did pass. They try to respect his name and say, oh, yeah, Kobe was this and that, and people didn't respect Kobe enough and this and that. But these were the same people that was not giving the same type of energy, bro, when he was here. Only when he passed away, bro. Like, they act like Kobe just never fucking existed. And I'm not going to keep speaking on this shit, bro. But I'm going to get back into the video. But it's just something to think about, bro. Like, this is his story, bro. Came out of Lower Marion High School. I just went straight to the league, y'all. So did LeBron. Jordan played in North Carolina, and then he went to the league. Something I wanted to do, and if I wasn't good enough, I was gonna make myself good enough. Kobe inspired so many fucking people, bro. There's a shit ton of people that wanted to be just like him. It's like a shit ton of people want to be like Michael Jordan. Every day, for years and years and years and years and years. That's what basketball is all about. Oh. I mean, it's fun to me. Welcome to the Kobe Show. Take two. And he stayed with one team for the, his whole fucking Chance career, bro. All the emotions. Man, he ain't super team anger, with nobody. Excitement that you have held inside you. Once you get out on the basketball court, you just let it all out. You just let it all loose. I will tell you guys right now, the only reason why I got a Kobe tap, man, was because, like, it was just the best way for me to pay tribute to him. You know what I'm saying, bro? He did so much for the fucking game. So did Jordan. You know what I'm saying? But not taking away from that shit. Like I said, again, I was not a Kobe fan. But, um, uh, did so much for the fucking game, man. I respected his game. I respected him as a player, bro. And I thought it was just the right thing to do. You know, with me being a hooper, bro. I just wanted to do some shit like that, bro. Oh, what a slam dunk. <laughs> He inspires so many people, bro. He swings big and he misses big. Same thing with me. I have no fear whatsoever. If I take the last second shot and I miss, so what? Take it, we make it. Good. Let's all go home and get ready for the next game. That's a fact. Move on. Don't dwell on the past. Move on. I remember that play. Yeah, I grew up watching Kobe, bro. Might not like the, you might not like the guy, but you have to respect the hell out of him. I, I like for to sure. be as a, as a player that, that overachieves. It's not something where it's like, uh, yeah, I love doing it because I love winning. No, that's not real love. It's, it's do you love the process? The black mamba. That gets you to that, those boring, agonizing moments. If you love that, then you know <laughs> you found something that's really true to you. Okay, 
Happy birthday to Kobe Bryant, man. He would have been 43 it's years old. Time went on. And he felt that he had accomplished all that he set out to accomplish. Five rings. Three P was set. <clears throat> Three P was Shaq, bro. Then one, two against Boston. But what he come to realize is that the goal that he set out initially of becoming the greatest of all time was a very fickle. No, he beat San Antonio. Nah, I think he did beat Boston on separate occasions. There's a difference between who you are and what you are. And what I am when I step on that court is you know, I become that. I am that killer snake. You couldn't possibly expect this to be easy. If you want to make history, you have to do historic things. 61. Crazy, his daughter was just like him, bro. Wanted to follow in his footsteps. And then just going just like that, man. Kobe ain't had no boys. He had all girls, man. Had one lovely ass family, bro. Had a beautiful wife. Just couldn't imagine losing all that in one fucking day, bro. Just like that. I want to win, and I want to win by any means necessary. That's when that demon comes out. His wife and that's really strong, man. And your family, man. Our test looking gets it to Brian. Brian dribbling. Has to put it up with the buzzer. I remember that play, bro. Over the wing wave, bro. That shit was fire. That shit was fire. It's completely different than how my life is off the court. You know, off the court, I'm, I'm very laid back. I'm uh I just love spending time with my family. Yeah. Get that sandwich on it, bro. Just being a husband, being a father, being a goofball. Just he was there for his daughter every step of the way. Jackson, really. He was a girl dad, man. He really cared about his kids. I mean, him and his daughters did everything together. Especially him and Gianna, man, because she was a hooper. Just makes you just wanna, you know. It may, it, it definitely makes you wanna cry, man. And not only that, like it just makes you just. Bro, I'ma just tell you guys this right now, and I know Shaq said this shit in the past, bro. Like, you may not be talking to, you know, some of your family members, or you haven't probably called them in a long ass time. You know, you should just pick up the phone, call them, see how they doing, tell them you love them, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause. You know, all of us, bro, all of us as human beings, bro, we don't know where we gonna go, you know what I'm saying? We gotta live every day like it's our last, you know what I'm saying? You can't be wondering about, oh, oh, I don't wanna go here because this, 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 and this is here. Like, you can't live your life in fear, you know what I'm saying? You gotta live your life every single day, man. You can't hide away from violence, bro. Violence is everywhere. You're not safe anywhere. And that's just honest, you know, any anything can happen, any, any tragedy. So, you know, with any family member that you got, man, you always want to just talk to them. Make sure you talk to them every day. Make sure you tell them you love them, man, because, man, you just don't know when, when it's your time to go, man. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Kobe was just, well, man, a wonderful being, bro. He cared about the game of basketball, man, and he wanted to help the younger generation out. Like, bro, his daughter was cold as fuck, bro. <laughs> this shit is still sad, bro. I remember the day where I was at, bro, when he passed, bro. Such a long journey, so many ups and downs, and so many sacrifices. Couldn't fucking believe it. I've always said that I wanted to be remembered as a player that didn't waste a moment, didn't waste a day. And uh, I felt extremely blessed uh, by the God-given talent. But at the same time, I didn't take it for granted at all. Like Kobe was really an inspiration for everybody, man. Very powerful message to have. It's something that hopefully the players that are now and had a legendary ass game, his final game of his career, man. 
Everybody fucked with him, man. That's LeBron and Kobe. <laughs> and that is when you realize that's what makes true greatness. So the story would be about transformation of a kid looking inwardly to then growing up and understanding the importance and the power and significance of looking outwardly. Kobe, forever. Happy birthday to Kobe, man. Um, rest in peace. Oh, this shit was hard to get through, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I feel myself tearing up, man. It's just sad, man. Like, even though you, if you wasn't a fan of Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Like, just had to respect him. Uh, he did so much for the game, bro. And for him to go out in those eight other passengers, like, I mean, I'm glad his whole family wasn't on that plane, man. But it was just a sad ass day in America, man. You know, fuck America, bro. It was all around the fucking world, bro. It was just sad, bro. Like, bro, they literally canceled games, bro. The day that shit happened, bro. Like, everybody was fucked up, man. Everybody. Like I said, I remember it like it was yesterday, man. Like, shit was just insane, man. Shouldn't have happened. They shouldn't have been in that situation. I don't know why the... You know, you you can point the finger at anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? But this with the helicopter driver, man. Like, how did he not know that it was bad temperatures, bro? Like, why even go in the air, man? Like, you got all this training, bro. Like, why? 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 But you got to think, too, man. There's people that die every single day, man. And they're not talked about like that. But like I said again, you know, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace to Gianna Bryant. I don't know the other people's names on there. Um, I know it's like Annabelle. I think it was like Annabelle or Annabelle, if I'm not mistaken, the last name. Like It was a family of three or four that lost their lives, man. And then you had some other people on that plane that lost their lives, too. But just remember, y'all, just live your life to the fullest, man. You know, whatever you guys want to accomplish one day, you know what I'm saying? Just do that shit. Any dreams you guys have, man, pursue that shit. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant, look at Kobe Bryant, look at LeBron James, look at Michael Jordan, look at Will Chamberlain, you know, back in the time that he played basketball, man, when it was a racist-ass league, man, like, he overcame all the odds, man. I know we talk shit about Will Chamberlain and how, you know, there was no talent back then, but, like, bro, like, Jackie Robinson, Martin Luther King, like, it, the list goes on, on and on and on and on and on and on and on, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they would have gave up, man, like, we wouldn't have had all these opportunities, you know what I'm saying, in America, let alone all around the world, <clears throat> let alone all around the fucking world, bro, like, blacks and whites are able to bond together now, bro, that shit used to be split, you know what I'm saying, we able to bond together, but I'm not gonna get too much into depth with that, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man, but, you know, if you guys just take some time to just watch this video again, man, it makes you think about life a lot, man. And again, man, you know, I send my condolences to Kobe Bryant's family, man, and all the other families out there that lost, you know, someone on that plane, man. Heart fucking breaking. But happy birthday to Kobe Bryant, man. I wanted just to definitely make sure I got this video out for you guys, man. And with that being said, man, it's your boy Kobe. And I'm signing out. Peace. Chase.